From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your four stimulus check update of 2022. In this recording, we'll go over the Build Back Better Act that got a letter to the White House and a letter back from the White House this week. Then we'll be looking at those incredible $80,000 of checks that went live. Did you get it? It's a four stimulus add-on. And the members of this channel have pounced overnight and gotten their application on file. I'll show you how to get those $80,000 of stimulus checks now being paid out. Then we'll be looking back at the CR getting a new add-on this week. Oh my goodness. And then the SS300. Jay Powell testifying in that FOMC meeting right now of the latest preview of what he's doing that could impact your SS300 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's live right now on Mornings LA. Then we'll be looking at the exciting details of that six stimulus package, major developing details overnight with oil, gas, wheat, grain, China, and Russia facing a default by the end of the day. What does this mean for your wallet? All the latest details on that. Plus, we'll be looking at the big money for rent assistance and also all the other incredible sums of money coming across the board. Because a big morning, the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the coffee is brewing. Zelensky just addressed members of Congress. I'll have his comments as well. And Jay Powell appearing right now at that FOMC meeting talking about inflation. But is he going to give us guidance for that interest rate for April, which is big news for your SS300? All the latest details on that. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, we have a lot of breaking news on a big morning. A potential ceasefire in the works. Is it happening or is it fake? Then a potential deal from oil. Is that happening as well or is that fake as well? We have all those details as a big money of money Monday. No, a big money Wednesday of March 16th, 2022 heats up. It's Morning's LA from Santa Monica, California, and the deliciousness of the toast, butter, and coffee brewing with the bacon missing still happening. <laughs> it starts right now as Morning's LA gets underway from the shores of Santa Monica, California. With all your big money, the excitement of this money starts right now by the minute, by the hour from Santa Monica, California. And wow, what a day it is. When we started the situation looking across the board, what do we need to know? What we need to know first off across the board is that the Build Back Better Act will pass. The Build Back Better Act has three clauses, checks, and three add-ons. And all those details are featured tonight in prime time on Evening's LA. And here's a preview starting right now on Mornings. And good morning, everybody. Hope you have a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here along the coast. As Morning's LA heats up with breaking news about that FOMC meeting happening right now. Breaking news about a potential deal in the works between Russia and Ukraine. Potential deal in the works for oil. And a lot of major twists and turns as President Zelensky of Ukraine just addressed a joint session of Congress. of uh, his comments as well in a big recording. But first, we're going to go over a preview of tonight's Evenings Allied, as America's most watched show in fine, prime time for financial news. We'll be looking at the Build Back Better Act to start. It has three classes of checks and three add-ons. In a new series of correspondences between the White House and Congress, and Congress and the White House, they all talk about passing the Build Back Better Act in the next few days. It's three classes of checks and three add-ons. Lots of money. Let's look at those checks right now that will be featured more in detail in Evenings Allied. Tonight's primetime show at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. There's about fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks in there that pay you out a lot of money. In that cluster, number one has in there hazard pay, one more year of the essential workers, and $4,000 of elder care, $3,600 for the CTC continued as well, continued as well. And then the nutrition, college students getting money as well, and then the money for a new electric vehicle. Plus, they got money in there for the incredible big 
opportunity to repair your home if you live in a low-income community. That is the first of three clusters in the Build Back Better Act going to the finish line. The first add-on comes from Maxine Waters, just a little bit less than $25,000 that will be given to purchase your first home. And this is huge, given to the seller at the time of escrow, it's a little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. That is the first of three add-ons to the Build Back Better Act, the fourth symbols recon. The second cluster of checks is a lot more, and it's home repairs and paid leave. How do you get these checks? I'll feature them tonight in prime time in evenings I like show, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. The second add-on of checks is huge. It's $250 billion for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. The third cluster of checks is seniors and free internet, farmers checks, independent contractors checks, and also the nutrition checks, which is par for the course because guess what? What is the third add-on of checks? That third add-on of checks is just a second, but the center is getting dental, vision, lowering the eligibility and age of Medicare, and also the Medicaid gap fix, which is a lot of items that the center has vowed to add in there. And that other check they vow to add in there, you know what I'm about to say, MSC. How do you get an MSC? Who gets it? And when would you get it? And how much? It's all coming up tonight in prime time in the America's Most Watched Financial News Show in prime time evening to LA. Single individual, 75,000 less you get it. Married couple, 150,000 less you get it. Double it. And if you're, on, and if you're a family for it, you get it and quadruple it. If you're on benefits, you get it as well. It is not income. It's not taxable. But how would you get it? How much is it? It's all featured in tonight's broadcast. Tune in to Evenings LA in in primetime for that detail. Now, Build Back Better Act, not law yet. It's in the Senate passed by the House. But this, my friends, is law. $80,000 of stimulus checks for you. And the viewership of this channel overnight sent me kind messages saying, I got my application in. It's complete. I'm confirmed it's complete. And I'm ready to get those $80,000 of checks. How do you get it? It's coming up in just a second after the commercial break. Also coming up after the commercial break is those six stimulus checks. More about that in a second. But the breaking news at the time of this broadcast you're watching live on air just before 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time is that Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, is testifying at the FOMC meeting for March 2022. He's going to give us guidance on what he's potentially doing for the month of April. And this is big for your SS300. Let's recap. Joe Biden has promised to raise your benefits up by swapping out COLA for inflation as your new benchmark. But where is inflation? You want Joe Biden to make that swap now because inflation is at its highest price point of a generation before this guy, Jay Powell, comes in with interest rate spikes. Jay Powell has five meetings in five months called the FOMC meetings. Day two of the March 2022 meeting is today, March 16th. And just after about two hours from now, Jay Powell will give him, give us, the American people, his FOMC meeting notes for the month of March. I'll feature them live on, I'll feature them live on air on noontime and tonight on Evening's Ally in prime time. I predict that he may give us either guidance for April of a quarter basis point or nothing or no guidance at all. You want to hope that his guidance for April is a quarter basis point, although a AKA 25 basis point, because that would be good for Joe to swap out COLA for inflation now in March, then in April as well. And if it's anything more aggressive than that, then you have to start to get worried. Why? Because inflation could come down stark movement to 6% in May or April, if, well, actually May, if j Powell came in with a half basis point for April. Let's go over the analysis right now. Jay Powell is trying to bring down inflation. He does it by raising interest rate. We already know what he's doing today because he told us last month, a quarter basis point, aka 25 basis point. Good. But what is he doing in April? We don't know yet. And we likely will know in about two hours from now. When he has that March meeting, he'll talk about March, but he may give us guidance for April. We want to hope he gives us guidance for April. And we have to hope if he does, it's a quarter basis point. My prediction is even going to give us no guidance or he's going to give his guidance of a quarter basis point. You don't want a half basis point, because guess what? Half basis point could potentially bring inflation from 8% down to 6%. Remember, 6% would be, give you about 175 more per benefits per month, not $200. 
and you don't want to make Joe to wait any longer. Joe Biden needs to swap that cola for inflation right today. Went to the highest price point of a generation. But what is my breaking news going into the FOMC meeting? I do have breaking news. It's brand new. It's happening right now. First, we had that PPI number yesterday, March 15th. It missed. It missed, meaning it was weaker, meaning that Wall Street thought it was going to be higher, meaning that for inflationary purpose, it was weaker. The the PPI number for yesterday was a miss. Guess what was also a miss? This morning's number, which was the retail sales number. The retail sales number released minutes ago, obtained by Allied News, shows that the number was a miss. Now, before I go into that, let me go into the latest indicators from Wall Street analysts. One in Wall Street analyst says minutes ago, the Fed is going to continue to be measured even more if we see the, continue to see these high inflationary numbers because it wants to be more concerned about a hard landing than elevate inflation. Let me translate that for you. Hard landing is a new expression I'm bringing to this channel. Hard landing means dropping you very, very severely to a very lower inflation number overnight because you come in very aggressively. The British central bank equivalent of Jay Powell did that just a few days ago. Half basis point. Jay Powell, I don't think he's going to do that. He does not want a hard landing. A little like sitting on a seat and you take a boop, a hard landing. He doesn't want that. He'd rather have a little bit more inflation for an extra month and ease you into it with more staggering uh, rising uh, interest rates at those different FOMC meetings. So I agree with that commentary. That's number one. But here's what's also fascinating is that another number came out this morning. You hear it for the first time on this channel because it's just minutes ago. was a miss. Retail sales released for the month of February was a miss. It came in at 0.3%, less than the estimate of 0.4%. Why? Because of viewers, uh, not viewers, Americans are spending less because of inflation. Let's look at what some of those numbers showed. It showed that advanced retail sales was a miss, number one. It showed that online spending was not only a miss, folks, it was down. Boy, this is huge. Online spending dropped 4% for the month of February. So it was not only a miss, it went down. Now, also among the numbers was the auto sales, which showed it was a miss. Auto sales showed that American consumers were not going to pay the auto manufacturers elevated prices because you see those auto manufacturers, they're trying to stick it to you because supply chain issue. People just did not buy. They did not buy. And it showed that demand was sinking for a lot of items. Uh, health and, and personal care, down. Ret bar and restaurant, down. And motor vehicle, down. Uh, slightly higher, but not as high as what consumers thought. That comes as yesterday's number. The PPI number was a miss. It was 0.8 versus 0.9. Why is this good news for you and the Fed? The good news for you with the Fed is that the Fed has now had one two, three days of bad numbers. It had the CPI number last Friday, Thursday, good, 9%, that's what we, uh, excuse me, 8%, that's what we thought, or 7.9%. But it had a bad PPI number yesterday, a bad retails number today, and it's likely to have another bad number thereafter. So this is good news for you, because guess what? You want Joe Biden to make that swap for cola to inflation now. It's 8% now. It will be 8% for April. But what's happening in May? We don't know. And tonight on Evenings LA in prime time, I will have those FOMC meeting notes whether Jay Powell came in with guidance for April's numbers. If his guidance is quarter basis point, you're going to kiss the floor because guess what? That means another $200 for your SS benefits. It comes in at a half basis point, you're going to shake in your feet. And if it gives them with no guidance, then we just don't know. My prediction is it's going to be quarter, the, less, the lesser of the two, or no guidance. I'll have that later today on this channel. See how for stimulus. See how for stimulus. The White House is not happy because their money did not get into that CR last week. Also didn't get in there with your $2,000 stimulus check. But what did get in there? County stimulus. Very confusing. But all started because of me. Why? In 2020, I made history by putting a $600 stimulus check in the continuing resolutions. My idea to put a stimulus check into a CR at the time the pushback from legislators was it doesn't belong in there. Continuing resolutions aren't to pay many money to citizens. Well, guess what? This last week, they did. They put in their county stimulus to pay you out money. How to learn about that? Reach out to your county news or your county authorities. But they got county stimulus in there. What was not in there was money for COVID. What's happening right today? China's facing another lockdown because of a sixth wave for COVID. 
Morning This morning, one of the U.S. manufacturers for the vaccine asked for authorization for a fourth shot, a.k.a. second booster shot, for seniors. I'm getting my second booster shot, a.k.a. the fourth shot. So the concern from the White House is that that sixth wave in China could come here in two months from now, and it's out of COVID money. So the White House is asking for more money for that COVID relief, and potentially there could be room for another stimulus check. Of more about that tonight on Evening Delight in prime time. But now let's turn to that rent money and homeowners money. For stimulus, Build Back Better Act, not law, but the $80,000 of checks are law. And if you're a member, you got that application on file overnight. I had a wonderful message from viewers I'm going to go over in just a second. If you're not a member, you want to become a member, go right on this video right now, become a member. Get that membership newsletter tonight because guess what? You won $80,000. I can smell it. Get that incredible application on file to get those $80,000 of checks. How do you get it? It's coming up after the commercial break. Plus, we'll be going over the rent money that's still being paid out from third stimulus. You want that as well. We'll be looking at the recessionary concerns fueling the White House, fueling the Wall Street, and fueling this channel, and why six stimulus will be happening because of those recessionary concerns. It's the biggest stimulus package you've ever seen for this channel, and it's happening at the same time as third, fourth, and also potentially fifth. It's coming up at the commercial break. I'll see you back in 60 seconds with those $80,000 of checks. Become a member during the commercial break and see you back in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. As Morning Daylight continues live on air from the shores of Santa Monica, California, the toast is toasting and the butter's buttering. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues as Morning's LL goes into its big second half. The incredible details of an $80,000 grant checks have gone live. And have you gotten it? I'm going to go over those $80,000 of stimulus checks in the second half. Then we go over the big money of that six stimulus you needed. And it is happening at the same time. What is six stimulus? It's coming up in the second half. Then we'll get a preview of what happened on Evening Daylight in prime time. Major developing details in the next few hours. And I'll have the latest details tonight in that primetime broadcast. It's America's most watched show in primetime for financial news. It's evening to LA, 5 o'clock Pacific, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central. Big updates for your money tonight. You don't want to miss it. But first, let's start with this map. It's a map of moolah. $80,000 of checks going live. Let's go over all the details and go back to the map in just a second. The details of this is as a forced stimulus add-on. It's law. I call it forced stimulus add-on or forced stimulus ancillary and the great news is that you can get it fifteen to eighty thousand dollars per household number one and number two if you're on benefits ssi ssgi social security railroad benefits veterans benefits you can get it as well all you have to be is a homeowner now if you're a renter stay with me because i got money for you coming up in a second first how do you get it number one you have to own a home number two you 
are within that zone of income qualifications, fifteen dollars to $80,000. Now, when we talk about third stimulus or fourth stimulus, we talk about doubling, quadrupling. You don't do this as well. So if you're a family of four, you don't double the $80,000 or quadruple the $80,000. It's fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household. If you're in the zone of income qualification, you get it. It's nationwide. So how do you get it? Become a member. It's featured in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. If you're not a member, the link is at the top of the chat and also in the description under the video. Let's go over what you need to know. The membership newsletter delivered tonight at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time features the complete name of the program, the full long name. For purposes of the recording, I'm calling it the Homeowner's Grant. Then it features the description of what you qualify for, the monies, the eligibility, how to, uh, what the money is to be used for, and the link to go into a website that then routes you to the local websites. It is administered by the federal government. It's, it's funded by the federal government, but administered by your states. And the great news is that it pays for great items. Property taxes, home repairs, mortgage assistance, also utilities. Now, here's a couple things you need to know. Number one, it is offered nationwide, absolutely in every single state. Number two, you generally do not have to be behind on your bills. 90 plus percent of the time, the states do not require to be behind on your bills. Number three, it is 90% plus of the time for all those items, not just mortgage assistance. Now, I know for a fact that there are a lot of other programs out there that look like the same thing that I'm referring to. They're not this. And so if you see something that says you have to do this and that and this and that, and it's only for mortgage, it's likely not that. Then... The incredible details is that the membership of this channel, I'm so proud of. Last night, I had all these wonderful messages. First, in evenings, I like the viewers are saying, I got my application on the file, and it says complete. It's great. They're getting their application on the file, the members, and it says complete. Number two, viewers got the newsletter nice tonight and sent me beautiful, kind messages saying, thank you, I got it. I know a lot of the viewers were very, very, the members were very, very anxious to get it. So at a quarter to seven, they're like, I'm anxious. They get me, sent me messages, I'm anxious, 15 minutes ago. And then at 7.15, they said they got it. Now remember, the membership newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday via the YouTube alert system, not by email, not by lobsters, and not by waivable check. Uh, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and 9 o'clock Central. Last night, someone said, it's 8 o'clock Central. No, it's 9 o'clock. I, I, when did I know you're Central Standard Time better than you? It's 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And it's approximately that time. And then you also get, if you want to sign up for the LA Alerts, it'll also send you an alert at the time as well. Now, let's go over the application process. The application process is first come, first out. So let's say you apply right now. The video ends and you go apply. You're in line. Let's say someone applies 30 minutes after you. They're behind you. So you want to get your application first in line. This mirrors day one of this channel, April 25th, 2020. We're coming up on the two-year anniversary. I was on the deserted beaches of Hermosa Beach. We're on lockdown. And I press record on April 25th. I said in three days from now, programs will go live with this new program called Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, PUA. I don't want you to wait to the 28th. I want you to apply today, the 25th, because they're accepting applications. Guess what happened? The 28th, the applications went, the, the whole websites went live. And people waited to the 28th who weren't my viewers, all two of them, because <laughs> uh, we're a new, new channel. And then suddenly, my two viewers went to their accounts their online accounts, and the 28th, they woke up to a direct deposit. Yes, you want to apply when it's in pre-authorization mode. If the application mode is they're accepting the application now, but they're not paying now, you apply now. Because the moment they go live with both payment and application receipt, then they're going to pay you. You don't wait at all because you're further behind in line. Let's look at this map and explain the map for you right now. Now, the map is not updated live, so I want to make that very clear to you. Number one, so if you look at the map and say, oh, that's the status right today, first of all, it's done by the federal government. So it's not a live map. It could change by the minute. Number two, you should be on your state's Verge website, which you, as a member, you sent to, and refreshing it. So if you see your state is pink, refresh it all day long. Be, and if it's pink, you want to apply right now. But you don't want to think that this is an indication of when you should apply. You should apply if 
there is the ability to apply right this moment. In the case of Teal, California, New York, and Texas, Florida, means that they're receiving the applications and they're paying on the applications. Pink, meaning Ohio, Ar Ar uh, Ohio, Mississippi, South Carolina. Receiving the application, but not paying on the application. R meaning you need to get the application on file right today. And there you go. Now, if your state is not receiving the applications just yet, then continue to refresh that website to make sure you pounce Purple Hawks and get the application on file. Thank you for all those incredible nice messages from members who overnight who got the membership newsletter. If you're not a member, go into this video and below the chat. Become a member today. At the very top of the membership newsletter, the first few lines are the current oil prices and current wheat and grain prices today. Right below it, it says the name of the grant. It's a grant. It's not a loan. So there's no credit check and you don't have to pay back the money. Then below that is the link to go into the application. Then below that is the details about how to apply, the eligibility, and the monies across the board. Go get this money. It's $80,000 across the board. And remember, 90 plus percent of all states do not require you to be behind on bills. 90% plus states are not limited to just mortgage assistance. So if you're one of those people who wrongly are not following the videos and making phone calls, I don't know why anyone would ever make a phone call. But someone used to say, said, I made a phone call. Why are you making a phone call? In the time that you made a phone call, you should have gotten your application file. You should not wait, waste a, wake, a waking hour on not getting that application on file. You should not be calling anyone. You should be filing the application as quickly as possible. And you should be pouncing Purple Hawks. Do not presume something you may have heard from the guy selling the donuts or the lobsters at the corner. <clears throat> and there you go. Let's go now into six stimulus. We're breaking news about this across the board. Six stimulus is important. Now let's explain. First stimulus, second stimulus, they are numbering systems. Does not mean that one has to end before we start the next. I use a numbering system to separate on this channel. I can use colors. I can use letters. I can use uh, words. We use numbers. So don't think that one has to end before the other. Currently, the landscape is third stimulus is paying out for rent and homeowners. Coming up later in this video, I'll go over that money for your rent. Four stimulus is paying out with that $80,000 of grants. And six stimulus is about to heat up as well with that big money for Putin. What's the difference? First stimulus was for COVID. Second stimulus, which was to be for COVID, never became law. Third stimulus, Biden stimulus, was for coming out of, out of, out of COVID. And fourth stimulus, Build Back Better Act, coming out of COVID. This stimulus for seniors, not law yet, still in the works, your SSI reform. And then six stimulus, this is for Putin. You can call it for oil, you can call it for a lot of things, but I call it for Putin. It's to prevent the onset of recession. First, let's go over the latest on what it is, and then the breaking news. I have a lot of breaking news on this for today, folks. First, why is this needed? It's needed because Putin has caused economic disruption for us and our partner allies. And if we don't solve that economic disruption, guess what? We go into recession. The way we prevent recession is we provide stimulus to our economy and to our citizens. It's the allegiance of France, Germany, and the United States. The date, I want you to watch early April. Why? Because Germany's France, Germany's leader, the chancellor, is a progressive. Joe Biden is a progressive, and France's leader is a progressive, but he's up for re-election in April. If he's re-elected, then the trifecta is in there, and they're going to do it. Where does it come from? It comes from the understanding of the uh, partner allies that they need to get off of Russian products, and that getting off of Russian products alone would set us into recession. The way you prevent the recession is debt spending internationally and domestically that involves raising debt to provide stimulus to our citizens. At issue, for example, you cannot pay $4 a gallon for gasoline for two more months, otherwise we go into recession. The way you do it is you provide relief to the citizens. What, what is six stimulus for? It's for a series of different reasons. First, of course, it's for oil. That's issue number one. Second, it's for commodities like wheat and grain, Third, it's for the banking industry, which is potentially going to take a major hit. Next, it's also for China. And finally, it's potentially for a Russian default that could impact us badly as well. Let's go over the breaking details of all those elements. And boy, we have a lot this morning, folks. A huge amount of updates. First, the situation in China, very fluid overnight. China 
in a new comment from his minister, which I'll feature tonight on 80s Light, denies that it ever got a request from Russia for economic or military support. Denies that report. I featured that report yesterday, that China had been reached out by Vladimir Putin for economic support to bail out Russia and for military support in battling Ukraine. Chinese officials denied the report, but then Russian officials confirmed the report. Ugh. Today at the time of the recording, which is March 16th, 2022, just after 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Chinese markets are seeing the largest surge growth of their markets in one day in 40, day, 40 years. What happened? Very, very confusing. Two days ago, China was worried about a lockdown because of the sixth wave of COVID, which could disrupt the supply chain for us to, domestically. Then came news that China would support a cooperation uh, and for increasing growth domestically. And that caused today its market up 40%, massive turnaround, like Alibaba up 24% and JD up 40, 45% as well. This also came on the news that there may be a ceasefire. More about that in a second. Now, Russia's finance minister, Anton Solonov, says that a partnership with China will allow us to maintain the cooperation, an economic partnership that we wish to achieve. So Russia's confirming the report that it reached out to China to afford the war. What's the latest on this Chinese equation? The White House and the United States is not happy. White House Press Secretary says we're going to have this conversation directly with China and not through the media. Yesterday, U.S. met with China delegates in Rome for a seven-hour meeting and refused to brief the American people because it's very serious. They gave them apparently a tongue lashing. Do not give Putin a penny or we're coming after you with sanctions. That's why the Chinese market plummeted overnight. But the situation is very fluid because we do not know if China will support Russia and then when. The second part of the equation is the, uh, the, is the oil. The oil got a major twist overnight. Let me tell you what's happening with that oil. Very, very confusing. First, there was a report out from uh, there was a report out from Lazarov from uh, from the Russian minister, the Russian delegate to the UN that said negotiations with Iran are back on. This was not confirmed. Let me explain what's happening. The reason why oil is out of control is because one, we've not increased production domestically, and number two, because the partner allies have not found an alternative. Now remember, even if we increase production of oil domestically, we also have to get the partner allies to their other type of oil. We can't send them oil from the United States. They have to get another source of oil. So where is it? Option number one, Venezuela, no longer working. At the moment, White House has not lifted sanctions against Venezuela, so their oil is not available. The Iranian option seemed the most likely, but the longest to be delayed, potentially out to May. And it derailed on the, over the weekend when the delegates to those negotiations for an Iranian nuclear disarmament agreement that would alleviate the sanctions of the embargo on Iranian oil fell apart. The fell falling apart was blamed upon Putin, who reportedly reached out to Iran and said, stop the negotiations in Vienna. U.S., France, and Germany are furious because they're almost near that deal. Remember, if Iranian oil floods the market in the United States internationally, the price drops dramatically from $5 to $1 a gallon. Fell apart. Now, that U.N. delegate from, the, from Russia, who you can absolutely not believe at all, he says the negotiations are back on. That's why the price of gasoline fell. Again, the negotiations have not resumed. Now, what is also heating up with six stimulus? What's also heating up with six stimulus is we're learning now that the oil may not be the bigger issue. The bigger issue may be the one that I've been covering since the first day of the invasion, wheat. We're now learning, because we really don't know how dependent our partner allies and other countries we do business with, but we're not partners with, like Egypt, are dependent on that Russian wheat and Ukraine wheat. The new series of reports overnight suggests they are 40 excuse me, 80 percent dependent on Russian and Ukraine wheat. This is a far bigger dependency than oil, which in some cases 40 percent. 80 percent dependent on wheat is a calamity waiting to happen. Why? The wheat is harvested in the Black Sea region of Ukraine. Those farmers are not harvesting. They're at war. Then the crop is lost for the season. It's lost for next season because they're not preparing the crop for next season. And the crop may be ruined for seasons to come because it may be bombed to create cluster bombing. So that wheat disruption is a major problem. And it could send economies into major recession because they don't have anything to make bread. You solve oil, 
here by ramping up production but you don't solve wheat internationally we go into recession because guess what we can't afford seven dollars a loaf for bread and that's what we'd see if the world economies have no wheat to make bread while we have wheat to make bread we'll see our wheat prices go through the roof because we would be the only people making big wheat and it's not something that's sustainable that's why six stimulus is needed because of wheat the other part of the equation which is breaking news today is that russian default let me explain the Russian default and why it is really, really big. The Russian default, which I'll feature more tonight on Evening to LA, is very fluid. The situation is the following. I'll show you tonight on Evening to LA those dates, but there's a March 16th date, two interest rate payments. Russia's not going to make it, but it's not a lot of money. It's 48, 68 million, not billion, 68 million. It's the April 1 date, two plus billion dollars of principal Russia will not make it. How do we know? It's already confirmed it. Why do we know that? The issue at hand is that Russia has the money. Correct. It has the money. It can't access the money because of sanctions. Because the sanctions are developed in such a sophisticated way that Russia has the money to make its interest rate and principal payments but can't access it. So the likelihood of, of a default is likely very clear. Russia Prime Minister, Finance Prime Minister, Minister Anton Siloff said minutes ago, they blame the United States, which is correct, <laughs> but we're not alone because of the Western allies. Russia cannot fulfill $117 million in interest payments in the next 24 hours. So by tonight's evening delay, I'm going to tell you they're in default. Why is this big for you? We don't know at the time of this recording how much exposure U.S. banks have to Russian banks. They have debt bond. They have bonds that they have bought, U.S. banks. They have Russian equities they've bought. And their exposure is there. How big? They're not telling us. One major brokerage house early yesterday made the hysterical comment, everyone's laughing, including myself, that the exposure through the first two months is, is gone. <laughs> well, of course, we're in March. What does that mean? <clears throat> it doesn't make any sense. So we don't know. And if a half billion dollars exposure to Russian debt is there, and then suddenly Russia defaults on April 1st for a billion dollar principal repayment guess what happens to our u.s banks they have to report their loss in their q2 q3 earnings report to americans financers to americans across the board and it's absolutely cataclysmic it could send us into a banking meltdown and that banking meltdown is one thing that is very scary across the board that would tee up the real need for six stimulus yes six stimulus is for a lot of issues one, oil, not sustainable at $4 a gallon nationwide, cannot be sustained through the month of May. If it is, we go into recession. Number two, wheat, cannot sustain wheat at current levels, the highest levels we've seen in 10 years. It's going to get worse because those partner allies have nothing lined up. Number three, China, which I'm going to feature more tonight on Evening to LA. China could potentially be sanctioned by the United States if it takes signs in this war. Number four, far after that is the Russian default and the U.S. exposure. Meantime, what happened with President Zelensky? Minutes ago, President Zelensky addressed a joint session of Congress asking for more relief. He asked for a no-fly zone, which the White House and the vast majority of U.S. population polled do not support, which would mean involving our U.S. troops in Russian territory fighting Russia. Excuse me, Ukrainian territory fighting Russia. It got standing applause from Congress, Republicans, Democrats. Fascinating. He really name checked the president of the united states so he pitted the congress against the the white house a, a very strange look and then he invoked 9 11 he mentioned 9 11 and he mentioned the pearl harbor uh his reason for the address was to ask more relief and yet they do not have any bill ready for more relief the bill for more relief was passed last week the cr i'll feature that more tonight on amy's la but here's what you need to know number one $80,000 of checks are now live. Go get them. And I'm incredibly excited for all the viewers who have sent me those messages. Got the application file. It is accepted as complete. Though it's the language you want. You don't want to wait around. You want to make excuses not to apply. You want to apply. Number two, SS300. We're going to see what happens with Jay Powell and that FOMC meeting in just a few minutes on live on air at noon at 11 a.m. for uh, home edition, which may start a little bit later today. Then we're going to look at that incredible money for third stimulus, which is still paying out, and it's for rent and also homeowners assistance. How do you get it? Here we go. You're ready. 
First, you're going to reach out to six places, your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, and your county house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. There are three things you must do. You must reach out to all six places. You must get multiple applications filed, and you must do multiple rounds. Tonight on ABD's LA, I'm going to feature one viewer, and boy, his success story is incredible. What did he get? He got 26 thousand dollars from this channel by watching evenings la for rent i'm getting people twenty six thousand dollars from evenings la for rent i'm getting viewers eighty thousand dollars for homeowners and this is not anything you're going to see in broadcast media or print media you're not going to pick up the phone and call someone and ask them about them because they're not going to know about it this is why this channel and you are winning do it today get these big sums of money we have a big broadcast coming up at 11 a.m the i stand with ukraine edition i'll go over what the issue of what's happening with your wallet as impacted by vladimir putin it's a very very important recording because so many things have happened in the last 24 hours a major change on oil major change on wheat a major change on the uh, situation with China and a major question mark with the banks. Plus, I'll have the latest details on a potential ceasefire. Is it true or is it false? Is it just talk or is it real? And why is it sending the markets into an up and down turn by the minute and by the hour? Plus, we'll be looking at the situation as it impacts your money at home. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you next. Thank you for joining me on a broadcast of Mornings LA and then tune in tonight for a brand new Afternoons LA at 3 o'clock and that primetime show, Evenings LA in prime time, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Become a member, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.